You can have a weekend that's packed, either comedy or music. Want to introduce you to the gentlemen of Rockapella. They sound like a full band, but it's just five guys and their microphones and, of course, their amazing voices. Nice to have you with us. Uh, your show in Boston is yes. coming up on Saturday. Yeah. I'll get to that in just a second. But first, I want to introduce you to everybody. Great. So, singer and songwriter Scott Leonard. One, two, three. We've got George Baldy, John Brown, Stephen Dorian, and human beatbox percussionist over here, Jeff. Thatcher and a song you might know. And there it is. That is the song that essentially put you guys on the map. It is recognizable, but you have come so far and done so many things since then. Tell me about your concert here in Boston. We love coming to Boston. We've spent a lot of time with the pops around the world and we've uh, performed here a lot. In fact, we're performing at Berkeley tomorrow night at 8 where we performed, I think, Jeff's first show 20 years ago. Yeah. <laughs> so well, that's we, we at 8 o'clock, Berkeley Performance that's Center right. in Boston. Right. Around it. We are seeing the fall foliage that we've been educated about today. <laughs> it, is, it is actually beautiful right now. Yeah. Now, you guys, you want to stay current. You want to celebrate the history of music as well. If someone's going to your concert, what can they expect? They can expect current and the history of music. Well, they there, can, there they you can go. expect. We, our <laughs> new record is called Motown and More, available at yeah. rockapella.com. Um, but it's got a lot of great of those those great Motown songs that we have connections to and love that that we do our rockapella versions to. We have a lot of original music as well, so you you hear a lot of fun I think when you come see our I've show. I've listened to some of your original tunes too, and they're very grounded. Some of them even in current events. They're funny. They're humorous. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So definitely a lot to look forward to. And I think it's amazing when you hear even that little snippet that you heard that you do this all with just your voices. Mm -hmm. I've always wondered, you know, Brett, Brett, I make you do things. Come here. Yep. Brett Conley, standing <laughs> again, by. the guinea pig. Here we go. <laughs> OK, so human percussionist, how in the world do you sound like a drum and a beat? you got to boil it down to some words first before you spit all over your living room. Have you Did been you? practicing? Uh, I was doing a little bit. So the, the line is, boost the cut, boost the cut, boost the cut, boost the cut. You're not supposed to sing. You're supposed to beat. <laughs> Cover up, cover up, or no well, cover up? Polite. Just a spit, yeah. gotcha. All right. Oh, yeah. What do you think? That's not okay. so bad. Common San Diego. <laughs> So you have it. There that's, you that's have it. That's my only line right well, well, that is a lot. That is, that is extremely hard to try to do. And, and working in unison, that's incredible you guys do that. Yeah. And you come together, and you also have to learn to work together and to have your voices come together all the time. How often do you rehearse? Never. You show up at the spot. And, and you just do it. We like do that? It. It's all digital now. We send the MP3, you learn your part, and we come together. Wow. Well, Do you think fun. shows like Glee and then movies like Pitch Perfect have helped keep a cappella music just in the forefront? I think so, absolutely. Right mm -hmm. now, it's kind of research. We've kind of lived through all the research of the boy bands. of the you know, yeah. Rockapella was like early 90s, around. and then and now back to Glee and Sing Off and all those things. So we kind of ride that wave. Well, why don't you sing off right now and you give people it. a little Oops. preview? You're good. <laughs> Ooh, ask me how I know, and I'll tell you so. 